going to demo a couple of different things today. The first thing is uh, these water brushes. I have the Aqua Squeeze Pen from Molotow. I want to show you three different ways that you can use these markers, or these uh, brush pens. The first way is to mix your own watercolor or water ink in the Molotow marker. So I put some water, and then I took, remember yesterday's video, these color bursts, and I'm going to add a little bit to the water. Stir it around. And you can run clean water through this later if you want to change colors. But this is going to give you a liquid ink, liquid watercolor. So I can paint directly to my paper with this, make marks with it, and it's coming out in whatever color I choose. Okay, so this one is ultramarine blue. So that's one way. Um, a second way is to simply use it as it's intended, which is just plain water. I mean, it's not just intended for plain water, but use it with plain water. And now I'm squeezing it to get the water to flow. And that's uh, activating, it's flowing to the bristles and saturating them. Now I'm gonna use, because I'm gonna show you another way to use these uh, Stabilo woody pencils. I'm going to scribble a little bit of that out on some palette paper and pick it up. So you could do this with any watercolor, but I'm going to pick it up with just plain water in the brush. Um, placement for a brush with water. So these are great for traveling. So imagine taking this on an airplane. Um, you don't have to have a jar of water and a brush. You've got it all in one here. Now, this is a little less traditional, but what I've done is um, I have filled one with golden airbrush medium. And the reason that I've done that is that these pencils, these Woody Stabilo Marksell pencils, they're water reactive. They're water soluble, which means that if I put them on the surface here, let's say, and then I go over top of it with something wet, some other wet medium, um, they're going to reactivate. So watch what happens. If I just take a wet wipe over top of this, I can actually remove it. Now that's good if you want to be able to remove it, but if you want it to stay put like paint, what I'm doing is I'm going to activate it with the airbrush medium and that's going to make it permanent. So let's finish filling in. I started this flower here. Let's uh, fill in some green for the leaf. I'm just coloring directly to the surface. And then uh, uh, this has got the airbrush medium in it. I'm going to activate that color on the surface. A wet cloth. This is just a wet wipe. I'm squeezing a little bit just to get the um, liquid to flow. And then you want to make sure that you snap the cap back on because this is a polymer medium. It will dry and uh, if you leave the cap off of it, the bristles will get all gummy and, and dry. But I wanted to show you what happens after it's dry. I can actually come over this with a wet wipe and it's now permanent on there. So that's kind of a cool way to use um, your water brush. Use it with not water, but use it with uh, airbrush medium which is 100% acrylic polymer and it's really thin. It's like water and so it'll come through and it'll activate things and make them permanent. So think about different water soluble pencils that you might have or water soluble crayons and that will make them permanent.